guys so I'm sitting at my vanity and I really feel like doing a shopping my stash video so I'm gonna do my makeup with you and pick out a few things that I haven't used in a while obviously I've been focusing on my project 10 pan and my pan that palette which I'm still very much focused on but I just really fancy just doing something a little bit different today so I'm gonna go through my drawers and just pick out some bits and bobs to use and I've taken out all my project hand pan stuff that's in my everyday makeup bag so this is all my sort of extra stuff so for base I really want to use let's try something new I'm gonna try I have popped a layer of fake tan on so I might try this Rimmel what's this Rimmel lasting radiance and I think this is in the shade soft beige so it's a lot 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 deeper than my skin tone but as I say I've got a layer of fake tan developing so I'll pull that out and I really want to try this concealer as a bit of a under eye corrector or I might mix it in with my lighter concealer this one this elf one so I'll pull those two out and then for blush I'm gonna use this one's really speaking to me but I have used, used it fairly recently so I haven't used this I might try this one this is the P Louise cheek of it in the shade cutie cake and I might wear this as my cream blush and then pop a little bit of my Mac extra dimension blush in fairly precious over the top and then I think that's it from this drawer in terms of eyes I'm still going to use my um, pan that palette my urban decay palette today but I do want to play with some color on my lower lash line so thinking I'm going to put out this one. As you know, I love this eyeshadow. It's my MUA one. And then I might blend that out with a little bit of Beautiful Iris from MAC. And then I'm going to try out this eyebrow pencil from MUA again. I picked this up recently. It's in the shade Blonde. It's Brow Define Precision Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm also going to use this, now what is this, Revolution Eyeliner. It's just the like chocolatey brown one. Because I've been using my Melt Eyeliner in the shade Baked, which is a much lighter shade. And I really fancy just wearing a little bit smoky today and darker. Only other thing from this drawer is my Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I'll pull out. And then from this drawer, I'll use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. And I am going to use my Fenty Beauty Powder in my project pan. And I'll use this today, this Charlotte Tilbury Highlighting Wand in the shade Glowgasm, because I said to you in my inventory that I would start to use this. There's no better time than today to get some use out of it. Okay, let's get cracking with the eyes. Gonna start again with the eyes today because I'm gonna do loads of eyeshadow. And then that means I can just easily wipe it away. Wipe any fallout away. So going in with soft ochre all over the lid. and under the lower lash line. Then starting off with the boring stuff that you see all the time, I'm gonna pop back off in my crease from my pan that palette. We 
went for a run this morning and my um, cheeks are still really red. They've not gone down. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a little bit of edible in the outer corner, not too much. Just buff it in for a little bit of definition. I was going to use a different shadow for my lid shade today but I'm just really in the mood to make some progress you know so I'm going to use breadwinner for my and that palette my shadow here we go okie dokie now for the fun bit I'm gonna take my Emmy Way eyeshadow. This one's in the shade 9 Pearl. Look at that. It's like a purple and blue duochrome. And I literally just take this on my finger and run it under my lower lash line. Just going to focus it on the outer two thirds. I feel like this is very much a trust the process makeup look. And then I'm going to take Beautiful Iris, which is my favourite um, eyeshadow from MAC. My favourite ever eyeshadow from MAC was Crystal, I believe, and it was a similar shade to this, but they discontinued it, so this is like my next favourite. But I'm going to take this and use it to sort of buff into the inner third of the lower lash line. Sometimes you just have to have a bit of fun, don't you? It can get boring using the same makeup all the time. Taking it up a little bit into the inner corner. And then, before I wipe away fallout, last thing I'm going to do on the eyes is take my Revolution eyeliner. The brown one. And just throw it in the waterline. Let me clean up. I 
let's throw some mascara on now get out all the boring stuff out of the way mascara is one of those makeup steps that I would literally if I could just click my fingers and just have dark eyelashes then I really would because I don't enjoy putting it on it takes so long I feel like people feel that way about doing their brows but for me it's putting on mascara it does make such a difference though Okay, moving on to base, we're going to take a pump, pump and a half of my Rimmel foundation and I'll mix it in with, well actually let's just see what it looks like on its own. As I say, I've got a light, light I've got a layer of fake tan on, so we'll just see how it works. It may just be way too dark. Okay, it's looking all right. It's looking all right. On the forehead at least. I've got literally no Peter Pan, like none of them are going to be available. The oh only no. one that's available doesn't even look like Peter Pan. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing that for you in the bedroom. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> look at it. And that's only enlarged because medium is quite cheap. But Tuesday, 5th of November. Have to go uh, should have to go down. Okay, I feel like I'm matching my arms, but my neck hasn't developed as much yet. So I'm gonna pop on a little bit of my e.l.f. concealer. Oh my god, that looks white compared to my face. But I'll just do a tiny little bit. Literally two dots. Because this is so pigmented, this... Um, <laughs> Look at this shade. It'll calm down, I promise. I feel like this MUA purple eyeshadow was made for me. I know that sounds weird because it is such a bold colour. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the uh, like the bluey undertone. I just think it makes my eyes look so blue or bluey green almost. It makes me pop. Okay, so I did forget to use my collection, but I'm going to pop this collection, Last Imperfection, on top just to, just to see what it looks like. Listen, we've, we've got a lot of makeup on this face, so, you know, why not go the whole hog? I mean, when I collect the little one from nursery, they're going to have a, a shock when they open the door. Because normally I go and pick her up looking like an absolute toe. Um, but there you go. Under eye bags be gone. Who 
Pokey cokey, let's set it down. As I said, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty powder because it's cracked and it's very messy. So I'm trying to just use up the broken bits. Okie Koki bronzer, tart Amazonian clay. Let's go, let's go for it, even though I'm looking very bronzed already. Okay, let's quickly whack on some brows. Let's try this MUA. Precision pen. Oh, I like that. That's very quick and easy. <laughs> nice colour as well. So for blush, I wanted to try this P. Louise one. I don't know how this is going to work on top of like my already set face, but we'll give it a go. Flipping neck, that's lighter than I thought. Oh, that would be lovely for when I don't have a turn on. Okay, I'm glad I picked out two blushes because I'm definitely going to need to layer one on top of this one. Wow, it literally just blends away to nothing. Okay. Let's layer this fairly precious on top. That is so nice. Well glowy though. I'm not going to need that highlighter. Otherwise, people are going to be like, are you okay? Are you going to the nightclub? Let's put the highlight away. We will not use that today because the cheeks be glowing enough. And then let's use, what's the last step? Lips. Ooh, the fun bit. I can pick out a lipstick that I haven't used in a while. So 
So I've just lined with Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and the lipstick I've chosen to use is Fenty Beauty Makeout Break. That's what it looks like and I feel like I just need a nude because I've got so much going on. It's funny because like a few years ago this makeup would be like an everyday look for me. <laughs> Well, I've got so used to seeing my face without any makeup on at all or just minimal makeup that it's really weird now. Nice, I like this lipstick a lot. So creamy. So that's everything for this video. If you liked it, then please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!